as we were grocery shopping yesterday, I bought the weirdest things that I never thought I would buy. Flax seeds and chia seeds. <laughs> chia? I thought that was just for the chia pet. <laughs> journey of transformation, a journey of what author Brooke Peterson calls food freedom. Let's go have a sit down and I'll tell you exactly what it's all about. A couple weeks ago, I have these two friends that have this great mom podcast. It's called The Mom Podcast. And they had a guest speaker who is an author, her name is Brooke Peterson, and she wrote this book called Food Freedom. And at first, when I started listening to the podcast, I was like, oh, it's about food. I've never been the person to jump onto bad diets. I just, first of all, I usually don't have the time to deal with it. I remember one time my sister got me to do the Atkins diet with her, and this was, of course, years ago, because that Atkins fad diet is gone. And I did it for maybe two days, maybe three days. Uh, I've always wanted to be healthy, but I just have never had the time. I'm such a busy person as an entrepreneur, having my own graphic design business, photography business. And then when I added kids, I definitely didn't have time for some crazy diet. But as I was listening to her on this podcast, she had what she called four pillars. And the very first pillar was sleep and my ears perked up wait this is food freedom we're talking about food and losing weight and you're not talking about what you eat and how to work out you're talking about sleep okay I'm listening her second pillar it was about your mind and renewing your mind and how you view yourself and I was like again it's not about what you eat and how you exercise it's a it's something else. And then it's what you eat and then exercise. And I was like, okay. So I really enjoyed her podcast. I'll link to it below. And then I just decided that I was gonna buy her book because I wanted to know what else she had to say about all those four pillars. I read maybe three chapters and I follow her on Instagram. She actually goes to our church. I've never met her, I've seen her. And then she posted that she was gonna do what's called the Food Freedom 60, which is a course of all a bunch of women coming together. And <laughs> JD's working on the bus. Big surprise! So we're coming together for eight weeks. She's got this whole course mapped out of what to eat, how to work out. We're all together in a Facebook group, and I'm just really excited. I decided, I felt like God was saying, this is different and I want you to do it because I have more for you and I want you to be healthy and ready for the more that I have for you. JD and I don't know what's coming next um, with the bus and if we're gonna be traveling or not, but I want to be healthy. And one of the key things that Brooke has said multiple times is that you need to be fueling your body with fuel that will produce good energy. The first week, um, during prep week, she sends out this PDF of all these questions that you need to answer, and it's thorough, and it really gets you thinking in your mind. Why am I doing this? Um, so I wanted to read what I wrote in one of the things. One of her very first questions for the week was, what's your goal for this food freedom? My goal, I would like to have more energy and a better self outlook on myself. I've heard it over and over in the last year since we quit 
being youth pastors that my value is not found in what I do or who I hang out with or how, how good I am as a mother. I have intrinsic value that my identity is completely found in Jesus and who he says I am. I've had that mind shift already in the last year of that. I have value and it doesn't matter what my body looks like because I am who God says I am. But I still have that negative outlook on myself. I still have thoughts of, oh, I'm fat. Who would want to look at me? Who would want to talk to me? So I still have those thoughts. How does diet mentality show up in your life? And I used to think, I, I don't really do diets. After Maverick was born, I decided to fast sugar for a month with my friend Jen. And after the month was done, we said, let's just keep doing it. And a year later, it was still sugar free and processed sugar. And I dropped 50 pounds and I was like, this is amazing, like easy diet. Um, but after that 50 pounds, I just like hit this plateau. And I was still not eating sugar. I wasn't working out. I was still eating like kind of whatever I wanted, but just not processed sugar. And I just plateaued. I wasn't losing any more weight. And I just kind of thought, well, I gotta start working out. But when I find time, I'll do that. And I wrote, if I restrict X, Y, and Z, then I'll look like this. But I want to shift that and think about all the good foods that I can eat so that I can fuel my body to perform not how it should look. And Brooke has said this a couple times. How you feel your body is not to have the outcome of what you want your body to look like. It's to fuel your body so you have the energy to do the things that God has called you to do. I want to feel, literally feel in my body good, not feel in my mind good about how I look. So I want to shift how am I feeling, fueling the foods that I put in my body so that I can feel good and have healthy energy to do the things that God has called me to do. And as a result, after that, my body will be shaped and will look healthier. All of that to say, I want to bring you on a journey with me as I start this eight week course of Food Freedom 60 with Brooke Peterson. And I'm excited and I'm nervous and I've had to set a lot of time aside to prep for food. I've been in the kitchen for the last like two hours I think. I've been making all sorts of meal prep for my first week. What I've done so far is I made a rotisserie chicken. It's in my crock pot. In my instant pot, I have no bean turkey sweet potato chili, but I did put Great Northern beans in it because I love beans. And in the oven, I have easy veggie egg bake, which I added lean ground turkey to, and so that is in the oven. Also put together some protein balls. I got peanut butter protein balls, and I have lemon poppy seed protein balls. And I believe that's all the like really hard prep stuff that I need to do for this week. The rest I'll just cook as the week progresses. I think I'm ready for week one. Let's do this. 